Maggie. Did you hear when I said that, Dad? Ducky! Here they go. We're just taking a picture of the beautiful condo here okay. for condo, Easter 
Gotta reach for the big bird thing there, huh? Is he funny? He's reaching for it, look. We're here at the fantastic new Disney MGM Studios theme park in Florida to announce the Disney MGM Studios vacation giveaway. Be among the first to experience this fantastic new theme park with a whole day of Hollywood adventures. Winners will fly Delta Airlines, the official airline of Walt Disney World, and stay at Disney's club suite. Stay tuned to 1160 KSL Information Radio for details and your chance to win. Uh, aren't you, um, your name is um, right. Jan Snyder. No, um... Free Labor is just one of six easy plays to buy carpet at Steve Ogden. Ogden's has the biggest selection of Stay Master carpets by Queen, plus four times more remnants than anyone. Ogden's has the lowest prices. We cover the state with seven locations. Our labor is free now through May 31st. Plus, we guarantee it for the life of your carpet. And financing is easy at Ogden. Buy now and make no payment till September. For selection, quality, low prices, and service, nobody beats Steve Ogden's carpet. Hurry, Free Labor absolutely ends May 31st. Whoever you are, if you're part of the crowd who can't sleep, Colette's Better Sleep Month is for you. Whoever you are, we're Colette Sleep Center. In every single size, Colette's prices on Celia mattresses are very comfortable. So look no further than Celia Colette. Plus, during Celia Better Sleep Month, you'll find incredible savings in brass headboards, day beds, bunk beds, and quality master bedrooms. Colette's has the style and price for you and the rest of the crowd. For a bigger meal that's a better deal and fresh-made goodness you can taste, it's Rennie's and Bountiful. Rennie's is becoming famous for our big quarter-pound burger, still just a dollar twenty-four, packed with lean beef, ground fresh daily, charbroiled and built just the way you want it, delicious, and still the same price as when Rennie's opened eight years ago, just a dollar twenty-four. One bite is all it takes, but it's only in Bountiful and only at Rennie's. Rennie's, two seventy-five South Fifth West in Bountiful. Len came back uh, close to home for weather school today at Twin Peaks Elementary in Salt Lake County, right, Len? Oh, like this, yeah, we got, uh, we're Mrs. Amundsen's second and third graders here. We're in the satellite corner, got the pictures behind us here. But all of these kids, Alexis, have made their own weather satellites. And I'd like to introduce you to, uh, this is Danny, what's your last name, Danny? Evans. Okay, Danny Evans, let's hold up your satellite and show everybody here your satellite now how long did it take to make this one about 45 minutes okay and which end of this satellite or where do we take the pictures right here right out of there okay Ooh, that's a dandy i like that one all kinds of two-stick antennas now over here this is this is terry and you what your last name terry Sanders. okay terry let's hold your satellite up can you help me here all right Ooh, this is it look at this is a colorful one now how long did it take to make your satellite about an hour. Now the turquoise part on this one, what is that what does that part of your satellite do? It's one of five cameras. So you've got lots of cameras on yours, huh? Yes. Okay. Now it took you an hour and it took uh, Danny forty five minutes. We're gonna introduce these kids to the federal government because it takes the federal government a lot longer to make a weather satellite. Okay, I'll look outside now from the school here. This is the way the pollen count is shaking up. Now that wind yesterday, we didn't get any moisture. So the wind really got things stirred up. The tree pollen's to maple, 25, that's moderate. 20 to 30 is moderate. Less than 20 is considered low, and that's where grass pollen's starting to stir up. Now, there it is at 14. Cedar, pine, and walnut all coming in at 10 a feet. So uh, if you're a little congested, that could have been a reason. And crisp, cool weather has filtered in behind that fast-moving front that came in last night. Everson, 19 this morning, and it was 24 in Elko, Randolph, 23, 31 in Logan, the Crosshair Providence was 26 up there, so some mighty cool and invigorating temperatures. 58 is our forecasted high temperature this afternoon. It was 34 at the Salt Lake International Airport this morning. 93 the record high, and 31. Some frost back in 1950. Well, it's sunny right now, but only 54. Yesterday, we remember, we warmed up to 84. Well, we won't do that today. Humidity is 24 percent and got a little breeze northwest at 12 miles an hour and a falling barometer right now. 
Well, here we go with, uh, speaking of satellites, we'll, uh, Danny and Terry take a look. These are the pictures that come from their satellites and from their way up 22,000 plus miles up. Cool weather across all of the Intermountain regions. They've got to mention that those strong winds yesterday caused some problems up in Park Valley. And I'll tell you, there's some power outages up there, some trees, some poplar trees tipped over, causing some, uh, some problems, hit an irrigation uh, pump, and so we've got they've got to kind of get this uh, operation back together up in Park Valley, and they'll be uh, we we have some great weather for them for the next several days. Well, let's show you here the forecast then. Today's forecast basically for the state of Utah breezy. Winds have been gusting in price, by the way, to about 40 miles an hour or so, and that's what that northwest wind will do to price and help her. 55 to 65, generally speaking, that'll be the temperature warmer in Kanab and St. George and Zion National Park. Now, here's the weekend forecast. Saturday, we get up to 64, a little frosty in the morning, cover up those tender veggies, and even with Danny and Terry's satellites, you know, they can look, we, we know what the temperatures are, too, Alexis, from satellites. We get that kind of information. More on satellites in the second half of midday. Okay, thanks, Len. Well, how do you handle someone who's... on your car. Well, there are many beauty queen titles. Miss America, Miss Strawberry Days, Miss Rodeo. How about Miss Firecracker? There's one we haven't met yet. Yeah, well, we will. There's a new movie, and Chris Pitts will talk about it. All right, but first, the news from Brian Mullaney. Brian. Thanks very much, Bruce and Alexis. Good afternoon, everyone. Suspected members of a California murder-for-hire gang are in jail this midday in Utah County. Orem police evacuated neighbors and surrounded this apartment before sunrise today. Five men and one woman surrendered peacefully. One of the suspects is wanted in California on charges of armed robbery. He told police he belongs to a murder for hire gang called Laotian Overdue. Don't know much about it other than they've been involved uh, out there uh, in, the, in these uh, robberies and possibly some shootings. And uh, other than that, we don't know other than we were told by the authorities out there that they, that they were pretty dangerous. The identities of the other five suspects are still unknown. Police found one handgun in the apartment and some marijuana. They think the alleged gang members were hiding but not planning to stay in Aura. In Chicago, the legal ordeal is over for a father who disconnected his comatose son from a respirator. A grand jury refused to indict Rudy Linares on first-degree murder charges in the death of his infant son. Last month, as we told you, Linares pulled a handgun on hospital staff and kept him at bay while taking his baby off the respirator. The baby was injured after an accident last summer when he swallowed a balloon. Illinois officials say they will not prosecute. We're hearing rumblings in Utah to make religious instruction part of the public school curriculum. Earlier this week, the Davis County School Board delayed action on a religious instruction resolution after residents voiced strong opposition to the idea. Board member Ray Briscoe wants the state school board to thoroughly study the issue and decide whether Utah schools ought to be teaching more about religion and religious values. The issue to me is that uh, the teaching about religion, the story of religion, uh, the First Amendment of the Constitution, and, and, and the most one of one of the precious liberties that we have is not being taught, and I think that it needs to be taught. We don't need religion in the public school system. Why not? Because religion is a private, personal thing with God. Religion specialist Wayne Cardall says the issue is one we'll be hearing a lot more about, and he'll have more on the story tonight on Eyewitness News. A Utah boy has a chance to become the champion of the National Geography Bee going on today in Washington, D.C. 13-year-old Ian King, an eighth grader at Salt Lake's Churchill Junior High, survived yesterday's semifinal round. Each contestant was asked ten questions, and King only missed one of them. King and the other finalists face the championship round today. All of the finalists will win at least $500, but the top prize is a $25,000 college scholarship. We'll tell you whether Ian won it tonight on Eyewitness News. Some bountiful kids are getting a first-hand lesson about the Vietnam War today. These fifth-grade students at Valley View Elementary are planning to lay a wreath at the Vietnam Memorial in Washington, D.C. by one soldier's name. Scott Whittleson of Bountiful, West Bountiful, was killed in 1968 during combat. The kids said they wanted to get to know more about Scott, so his mother and father, Arch and Ellen Whittleson, spent the morning sharing memories of their son. My dad has been in the war and he's said things to me about it and things that he's said about it in the late 
The class's teacher, Marlene Bordrero, will visit Washington, D.C. next month on behalf of the children, at which time she'll lay the wreath by Scott Whitteson's name. Finally, high school counselor Bill Daly in Fortales, New Mexico, talks plenty with kids, but sometimes he needs a break. Daly can't watch Joanne Larson on Eyewitness News at midday, so what he does is collect windmills, scores of windmills that sit in his backyard. I think uh, what really got me started was that... Uh, that they were very simple. You didn't have to be much of a mechanic to work on them, although they do take a lot of time. Daly has so many windmills, he ties them down. They don't make a lot of racket when the wind blows, except for a couple, maybe, like the old oil can windmill, and he also has a windmill that pushes and pulls the saw. One way to take out your high school counselor frustration. Yeah. Joanne Larson deals with the windmills of your mind. <laughs> she sang that. That was a long time ago. Beautiful. Len Randolph is uh, still making weather satellites out there at uh, Twin Peaks Elementary. We've, we've got them all, Bruce. We're talking about how the weather goes in and from the satellites and we get the maps and everything. So we're going to show you some of that. Like This is uh, Casey. Now, Casey, what are you holding up? One of the satellite weather maps. So those satellites that you see here in the room uh, that we've made models of the weather satellites, they take the pictures and, and use the weather information, and then they send down these things, and when these are the weather maps we get, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is a real weather map that Casey's holding right here. Now, over here, I'd like you to meet Aubrey. Good morning, Aubrey, or good afternoon now. Hi. Okay, show me out now. Okay, map holders, hold up the map, please. Okay, Aubrey, show me and tell, tell us about the weather in the northwestern part of the country there. Go ahead. Uh, it's very rainy up there, and there's a lot of lightning up there, and it's very cloudy, and it's also cold. Cold. Is that 45 that I see up there? Yeah. Okay, 45. You heard it from Aubrey. These, these kids know how this satellite business works. And so let's show you what else is going on around the region right now. And here is the roundup. The Bryce Canyon, sunny and 57. Billings has got wind gusts to 46 up in Montana. It's one of those kind of days. Phoenix doesn't understand why it's cold because they're at 90 on their, way, on their thermometer. Boise, sunny and 52 after the snow yesterday. Malad is 48 after a frosty start this morning. Pocatello, mighty cold. Got to mention, too, that Boise's tied their all-time record for this date at 28 this morning. Las Vegas, sunny and 78, and uh, Cheyenne on their way to kind of a nice day. 57 degrees there right now, and there's been some windy conditions, too. Now, we've got our weather map in here. The kids have drawn the tornadoes in. This is a pretty darn good weather Let's light it. Dad. What day is it today? September 25th. What year? 1989. How old are you? Ten. Who's this big guy? <laughs> <laughs> David, he just ate at the rib place, and he's got still picking his teeth. <laughs> he's got a big black thing hanging out of one tooth. <laughs> Where's your brother? Your sister? In a room downstairs. Told Dad what you got for your birthday. Go get Cammy. No, Cammy's asleep. Sure we don't want to wake her up. What? <laughs> Come on. 
We're going to sing. Or the candles melt the cake. Where's Ty? See, all you got to worry about is one brother. Come here, Ty. Come stand next to Brandon. Back to back. Sing. Okay, here we go, Dave. Lead the music. One, two. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Come on, what is Come on, Brandon. Come on, you lead the music. <laughs> to you, happy birthday, dear Joshua. Happy birthday to you. Do it. Go. Hello, Jack. I'm taking the golf course. Everybody's saying hello and hi. 